always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. My Florida State Seminoles and my Florida Gators. I meant Gators. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. The three teams in Florida that most people will pay attention to. Let's do a little update real quick. Now, before we get straight into this video, I'd like to give a thank you to a Tennessee fan by the name of BVD. Y'all go check out his channel. It's um, Big Vol Daddy. You know, he's he made this painting. You know, appreciate that. Love it. You know, this will be a part of the Canes Corner. I will put it up there. Hey, go Canes. All right, so let's start this video off with the worst team in Florida right now. The Florida State Seminoles. The Seminoles, or whatever you want to call them. The shit knows they fit all that category. But recruiting, recruiting, according to them, Midnight Madness. Now, Florida State, Norville pulled up in slingshot fashion. You know, we, we seen the slingshot. When we beat them five in a row, the slingshot will be ours. I know you see it in the thumbnail. But Florida State. Now, a lot of you fans, a lot of you Florida State fans been jumping the gun. Just because you had a midnight madness and you had all these kids there does not mean they're going to come in. Does not mean anything's going to happen because they're like, oh, 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 something's going to pop off. Watch. And they've been waiting and waiting. Nothing's happened. Oh, what did happen? You lost four-star quarterback, Nico. Nico is no longer committed to Florida State. Of course, Florida State think they have that leverage where they could tell recruits, or oh, you can't visit other schools and stuff like that. Because I think Nico was spotted at Arizona State, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure one of you should know fans can correct me if I'm wrong. But nonetheless, Florida State fans are double back now. They're backtracking. They're saying, oh, Nico wasn't all that great. We got the Duff guy, A.J. Duff, I think his name is. So we're good. So you didn't get in the recruits. You didn't get nobody to sign or whatever, this and that. So stop jumping the gun. You know, everybody is visiting right now. All the schools are getting visits right now. You know, a lot of these kids are not making no decisions right now. If I'm not mistaken, one of the best linebackers in the country said he's going to make his decision in December. So shit no fans. I mean, Florida State fans, Florida State Seminole fans, slow your roll, slow down, and relax, okay? Wait, let the thing play out. I know you guys are the transfer portal kings right now. <laughs> you lost and you gained from the transfer portal. But commitment-wise, relax. Relax. Stop talking. Stop making an ass of yourself. You've been doing that for too long now, not to learn. But moving on from the Seminoles. All right, so next up, we got the Florida Gators. Of course, the biggest news in Florida Gators football right now is just um Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen, my guy Dan Mullen. He just got a big extension. So I'm guessing all the NFL talk of Dan Mullen might go coach some team. I think the Jets was being tossed around. I think we could throw that away right now. But who knows what will happen in the future. But Dan Mullen just got a con contract making him the fifth, fifth highest paid coach in college football. The fifth. Some of the names that's above him, uh, Michigan, um, Jim, Jim Harbaugh or whatever, um, Dabo Sweeney, of course, and a couple more, man. We're not going to go through this, but that makes him the third highest paid coach in SEC. That's tough. That's tough. Y'all want to pay Dan Mullen and, and watch the Gators never win, man. They're going to have a down season this year. Yeah. Come on, man. Georgia's doing great thing in the transfer portal and recruiting. You know, they got top dollars. They could get those guys. So, it's going to be tough to see the Gators and Georgia compete this season. I think Georgia's going to probably beat them. But that's tough for Florida. That's tough. Lost a lot of talent. You know, and you just paid your coach a lot for a down season. I'm, you, you, Whatever you guys are seeing in Dan Mullen, continue to do so. Apparently, he can't, you know, recruit. <laughs> But, hey, whatever floats your boat, Gator fans. So, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's talk Miami. 
Well, first and foremost, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, and for those of you guys like T2Y, where have you been? We haven't seen you in a minute. I was in jail. I got locked up. Facebook, not Facebook. I'm sorry. I'm so used to being in Facebook jail. I'm, I was in YouTube jail, okay? I played some copyright music. They gave me a strike, and they put me out of my misery for a week. Well, they put y'all Florida State fans out your misery for a week because I was going to clown y'all all week, and, you know, it is what it is. So they kind of saved y'all a little bit. But I'm not in YouTube jail no more. I'm not playing no more copyrighted music, you know. You know, the Memorial Day Jam, that's what did it. So you haven't seen me for a week because they told me, hey, you can't upload, you can't post, you can't do none of that. So for those of you with a YouTube channel, let me be a lesson to you, okay? Anyways, man, let's talk about the Miami Hurricanes recruiting. Now, the cookout, a lot of the recruits, if you go to Kane Sports, Kane Sports on um, YouTube, you'll see a lot of the um, interviews before and after the cookout. So you'll get to see some how some of the guys are feeling about the University of Miami. I'm talking about the top guys. You know, go watch. You know, I, I, I don't normally promote other channels, but hey, go and watch. You'll see what these guys think of the university. A lot of them said this did it for them. You know, if Miami, if when it comes down to putting those hats on the table, Miami will definitely be a hat. But Take that with don't 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 get too caught up in it now. Don't get too caught up in it. Remember, until they sign the dotted line, they're not a Miami Hurricane yet. So you might see Miami on the table, but that don't mean they're gonna pick that hat. These kids are going to other colleges to make visits and stuff like that. And for all you Miami Hurricane fans, because I seen a post that was um aimed at Quan Lee. I seen a post from a Miami Hurricane fan, not going to say any name, but this post was aimed at Quan Lee, and Quan Lee snapped back, basically saying that, you know, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me. This is my life, my decision. Don't tell me what to do. So Miami Hurricane fans, be respectful to these kids. Let them go visit other schools. You're going to see them wearing other teams' uniforms. You're going to see them in other teams' stuff. That does not mean they're not going to be committed to the University of Miami. That does not mean that they're not going to end up at the University of Miami. That means they're wearing their options, people. Let them, let them make their decision. Stop trying to be their decision maker. They don't know you. They don't know you. Okay? Okay? Now... All these kids are going to visit other schools and they're going to make their decision. Hopefully it's the University of Miami. If not, respect their decision and keep it moving. Now, it's not much to talk about right now in recruiting because nobody's coming. Everybody's visiting. But down the line, maybe in July, August, September, and even after, after the season, around December time, that's when you'll get these um, commits. Some will commit before that. If they do, we'll, we'll talk about it. But... Leave these kids alone unless you have a positive message for them on their Instagram, their Twitter, and such and such. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. If you don't have nothing positive to say, leave them alone. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Go Canes.